a story you'll see only on Eyewitness News, the battle to control Rhode Island's second biggest hospital system. Now, Karen New England, owner of Women and Infants, Kent and Butler Hospitals, is up for sale, but Brown University's president says the likely buyer is the wrong choice. Eyewitness News reporter Ted Nisi sat down one-on-one -on -one with the leaders of Brown and Care New England. He joins us now with those exclusive interviews. With nearly every baby in Rhode Island born at one of its hospitals and more than 6,000 employees, the sale of Care New England is a huge decision. The issues that are at stake are so important to every single Rhode Islander. Brown University's president sounding the alarm about the future of Care New England. This is about access to health care, quality of health care, economic development in the state, access to health care for underserved communities. After losing tens of millions of dollars, Care New England announced last April it would merge with Boston-based Partners Healthcare, whose flagship hospitals are Brigham and Women's and Mass General. I mean, Partners has more than a $14 billion a year budget. That's larger than the budget of the state of Rhode Island. Brown has close ties to Care New England because of its medical school. And University President Christina Paxson says she's worried about the Partners deal, warning it could drive up costs, shift care to Boston, and hamper innovation. If health care in Rhode Island weakens, it's bad for all of us. Paxson's alternative for Brown and Prospect Medical, owner of Roger Williams Medical Center, to take over Care New England instead. The whole point of this is to start a conversation and help people understand that there's there's a Rhode Island alternative. I don't think it, it is a good idea. Care New England CEO James Finale is standing by the partners merger, partly because the two companies already collaborate on cardiology at Kent Hospital. And looking for a larger partner to help us grow and, and develop more services. Partners seems like the natural fit. Finale insists the deal won't hurt the state. We can work together to make sure that uh, research and academics are strengthened in Rhode Island and not weakened. Nobody on the Care New England side has any intention in making the academic presence in Rhode Island less. Not at all. As a matter of fact, we want to enhance it. I want to see what those words really mean. I will want to know that there are serious, well-defined commitments that will sustain access, keep prices low, and create jobs in Rhode Island. Finale tells me he hopes to reach a final agreement with partners within a few months. The deal would then need sign-off from regulators in Rhode Island, Massachusetts, and Washington. Ted Nisi, Eyewitness News.